Uh, so hello and welcome. Uh, one of my viewers has requested a little bit more information on a slide ringing table that I made um, and I've uh, actually tried uh, several possibilities there, not all of them successful and I simply decided uh, to give you an overview of uh, what I've been uh, uh, trying out. Okay, so let's get started. This is my slide uh, ringing uh, table. I've uh, got over here a, a plastic wheel that I got from a hardware shop. Um, I taped, <laughs> quite, quite simply, I simply taped um, a, a thin uh, piece of plywood um, on the top. Uh, this is uh, the place where I'm going to place the slide. And uh, on the left side here, uh, I clamped a piece of wood uh, with uh, yeah, this uh, thing here. I think table. The slide ringing table the wheel in other words is how you put it on it and uh, then I'm going to place the slide here in the center and I'm simply going to use uh, tape uh, to fix it to the slide ringing table you see normally you have to use uh, clamps um, but uh, this is a very amateurish way um, of, of doing it, but I think it should work. Okay, so that's uh, what I've got right now And now I'm gonna try to do the following I'm, I would like to apply now a little bit of, of nail polish uh, right on here Because I want to make a so-called dry mounted slide and this means that this nail polish after it has dried will uh, make a certain uh, distance uh, it's like a like a spacer for the cover glass. Okay, I've never tried this before. It really, uh, this is the first time. Um, so let's uh, let's uh, try it. Um, I turn it like this, and then let's try to apply a little bit. Uh, I don't know if this works. Okay, uh, it seems to be okay. Um, you don't see this quite well uh, because clear nail polish. Uh, normally, you probably would use uh, black uh, nail polish or any other color, which makes it a little bit more visible. Uh, but yeah, it's just. Uh, trial. So what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to allow it to dry. I'm going to apply a second uh, a layer then I'm going to allow it to dry again and then I can put a cover glass on, a cover glass on top of it. So this is uh, now a second uh, try. Um, I'm going to now use a much thicker uh, nail polish um, and I wonder if this uh, works better or worse. I don't know. Um, this one is a little bit thicker because I allowed it uh, to pre-dry so uh, the wobbly the wobbly character of this uh, slide rigging table is really a disadvantage. Okay, I don't know. No, 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 no. This is not gonna work. Um, the nail polish does not flow at all. Okay, no, no, no go. Um, I'm going to try it again uh, with the much thinner nail polish. Okay. I think also the brush is a little bit uh, um, a problem uh, because it's relatively thick. Um, I've seen other people using a much thinner brush. So, okay. Um, my recommendations um, use uh, nail polish of a different color it makes it easier to see uh, number one uh, number two use a thinner brush and number three uh, when you actually think about building something like this um, yeah uh, ensure that uh, there is uh, more stability because this one is not uh, not uh, sufficiently stable well i took away the clips uh, right now okay and um, I used double-sided tape uh, to glue the two uh, CDs, to glue two CDs together. And on the bottom side here, um, I also used double-sided tape uh, to mount uh, the fidget spinner. And this double-sided tape is actually quite strong, so it's actually not possible uh, easily to remove the fidget spinner uh, without breaking the CD. And uh, the ball bearing, um, I mounted like this. Uh, I, uh, there, was, uh, there are two of these plastic caps uh, on both sides of the fidget spinner. They're just basically um, yeah, held together by friction. And uh, it's easily it can be separated quite easily. And one of them, um, I mounted uh, to this uh, wood here using a screw. And the screw also holds not only the plastic uh, part but also the uh, the ball bearing in place. And you can see it's it's rotating quite freely. And uh, then the fidget spinner with the CD 
is simply held um, in place. Uh, you are using friction. Okay. And uh, then you can put a slide on top here, um, and uh, it's also possible to use a uh, sticky tape, scotch tape. Okay. And th then this uh, wood here, uh, this piece of wood, I simply uh, clamp to the table using uh, a clamp. Yeah, and uh, that's basically it. It's uh, relatively easy to make. It is a little bit wobbly, um, but that is okay. It's it's uh, not uh, not definitely not as wobbly as uh, the um, as the plastic wheel, and uh, because of the the rotation, the rotation also stabilizes it a little bit. Uh, over here, I have my my slide ring table that I ordered. This one is quite heavy, and uh, of course, it costs more money, and also the shipping is of course more expensive. Yeah, but I I would uh, yeah, both is possible. I would say okay. If you have more slides to ring, then of course I definitely recommend the uh, yeah the commercial one here. Uh, but uh, as a first trial, I would I would actually uh, probably try this out because it's actually quite uh, easy to make and it basically is, uh, yeah costs actually nothing. Okay, so this was it. So well, I actually used the clips uh, from a stereo microscope and I attached them also using a spring from a ball pen. And uh, when you do not thin down the nail polish sufficiently, then nothing comes off the brush. And that's basically what you see here. Um, so it is necessary to experiment a little bit uh, around um, and uh, to add some acetone uh, in order to make sure that uh, the nail polish is su sufficiently fluid uh, for, for it to actually uh, make a, a nice ring. Um, as a matter of fact, it might be even necessary to add about 25% acetone um, to actually thin it down sufficiently. But uh, that's uh, basically experimentation that you have to do. Okay, um, and now this is basically how it looks like. If you do not thin it down sufficiently, you can see that the ring is not perfect, but it's good enough, I would say. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so this uh, was basically it, uh, and I wish you a nice day. Bye-bye, happy micro-hunting, and all the best. Have a nice day.